second example on body plot so all the rules the same rules still apply uh, here we have if you notice we have a second order pole here at the bottom so we're going to take that into consideration so again the same rule apply we we'll have to make sure that all of them are one as plus one we have s plus ones so what we're going to do here is we're going to factor out 200 s plus one um, here because of the square we have a hundred um, s over 10 plus 1 and the reason we have that is because we have s plus 10 twice right s plus 10 s plus 10 and so if you take them out it will be s over 10 plus 1 and then you would have 10 again s over 10 plus 1 and then you multiply 10 by 10 that's why we have 100 here and of course we can't forget the square Okay. All right. So um, we cancel 200 and 100. So now we have a constant here. So we have a 2 s plus 1 s over 10 plus 1 squared. So poles and zeros. We have poles at the bottom and we have zeros at the top poles they represent negative 20 db um, negative slope 20 db and the zeros positive slope 20 db and we have to find the constant gain k is a constant here so here we have 20 constant gain gain so we have 20 log of Two, this will give me where's my calculator? Um, hold on, twenty log of two would be six dB. Okay, so we know that because we do not have a pole at the origin, we don't have an S here. We don't have as the uh, the zeros here as well. We know that our plot will start at six dB. So wherever six dB is, where we're going to start. Okay. So we have poles at at one. But this is the second order though. One one ten. So this is a ten. This is a corner frequency and a zero at. You see how I wrote this? Wow. Amazing. How did I do that? S plus one. Okay. So zero at one. So we do have um, again two corner frequencies. Now they don't necessarily always have to be one in ten. It can be any number really, depending on what you have, one over whatever. Um, so you know. We cannot be complacent in thinking that it's all the time one tenth. So, corner frequencies again. We have a one uh, zero at one, and so the zero is a positive twenty. Let me put it there, and this is a negative twenty. Now remember, this is a second order pole. Okay, so we have a. Uh, corner frequency at 10 again so our plot will stop uh, will start at the constant gain so at 6 db wherever 6 is it and again this is not drawn to scale um, and in the exam you may or may not be given the, the exact scale or whatever but you, you get the point because the log scale is different from ordinary scale so Obviously, this between these cannot be 10 and this cannot be 90, you know what I mean? So it's a log scale, of course. I think I mentioned that before. So wherever 6 is, um, you know, we'll just assume that 6 is right here, somewhere here. So we're going to start start drawing until we hit the first corner frequency. So we are drawing constant gain of 6 dB. 
so this is at six right here constant again I see there's no slope at all because it's constant it's almost saying um, you know y is equal to 2 or y is equal to 6 if you were to draw that so here we have the constant gain is equal to 6 dB until we hit the next corner frequency the first one we hit it at 1 what do we have at 1 at 1 we have 0 what did we say about the 0 we add 20 dB to the previous slope this slope is 0 so we have a 20 dB slope for a 0 so we go ahead and do that uh, 20 slope uh, until we hit the next corner frequency. Now when you draw this you want to make sure that this is actually a slope of of 20 so this is a 6 so if you ha this would have to be somewhere around I guess 34 uh, wait a minute 24 wait uh, 30 plus 14 yeah, you just want to make sure that your slope actually uh, hits somewhere here where the slope would actually have to be a 20 slope, a uh, 20 dB. So this should be a 20 dB slope. Right. Yeah. So this is going to be a little under 40, uh, 34, I believe. So that 30, wait, not 34. I can't. Where am I going to that? Right. So now, until we hit the next corner frequency. So the corner frequency, the next one is at 10. What do we have at 10? At 10, we have a pole. What do we have a pole? However, though, a pole is minus 20. If you have a second order pole, you multiply that by, by 2. So because the pole is a square we multiply this slope by 2 so second order minus times 2 so minus 40 is what we're gonna have so at 10 we have a pole we have a negative minus 40 because of the second order we multiply that by 2. Whatever this is, we multiply that by. So this is a 2, so we multiply by that. So 2 times minus 20 is minus 40. Again, you're not going to go and draw a minus 40 slope. You add the previous slope. So minus 40 plus 20 is minus 20. So you draw a um, minus 20 slope until we don't have any other uh, we don't have any other I guess uh, corner frequency to worry about or anything like that so this is a minus 20 so this was a minus 40 DB plus the previous DB which means 20 DB minus 20 DB that's why it goes down that's it for this one so again, corner frequencies. This is a uh, this is a zero. The zero is a positive slope. Twenty dB. We added to the previous one, which was zero. We don't have nothing to add or anything. This is just twenty. Until you hit the next corner frequency of ten, we have a pole at ten. But here it's a second order, so you multiply that by two. So we are supposed to have a minus forty dB. So minus forty plus the previous one which is minus 20 so you draw a minus 20 db slope at the corner frequency we don't have any more corner frequencies so we're not going to worry about anything else that's it for this example